as well? Yeah, this is a, it's a really hard place to play. I think that shows in their record. They're undefeated here for a reason, and we had to come in here tonight and be really sound defensively. Overall, I thought we played a pretty good game. We had a, a few small lapses, but at the end of the day, we limited their top three to just a handful of chances and let us to get a shutout and put us in a position to win the game. Um, we hit the post, they hit the post. So we put ourselves in a good spot, and um, coming out with the shutout on the road is always, always a good result. Thank you. We'll get started with questions. Ryan, go ahead. Hey David, um, what was it like for you, you know, coming back here and then, you know, every time the ball comes to you, comes to your feet, you're, you're hearing some pretty serious boos from the crowd. Yeah, it was nice to, to come home and play, honestly. I mean, I was here for seven years. I have a lot of wins in the stadium. I'm very comfortable here. Um, I mean, their fans are supporting their team. That's what they have to do. They need to, to root their players on going forward. It's a little disappointing um, hearing the amount of boos. I mean, I've played here longer than almost everyone on the roster right now, so that's a little disappointing, but um, it's just really nice coming home, having friends and family in the stands, and I really enjoy it here. And what was that like for you in these last uh, couple of days, you know, getting a chance to, to be back home and spend time around those folks? Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to spend time around them. We, we come in yesterday, and I told them all, I'd see them after the game today. We, we got to come here and do our job and, and be professional, so saw them after the game. Um, wish you could spend more time with them, but at the end of the day, we got to get home and, and get ready for Wednesday. It's a quick turnaround. Thank you. We'll go next to Sandsviller. Hey, David. Uh, congrats on the clean sheet tonight. Uh, like you said, the defense did a pretty good job of limiting San Jose's front line. Uh, what did you see in particular that the back line kind of in front of you did well to kind of limit their, their opportunities from open play? Yeah, I think when you see j -Bo dropping in and you have Cal and Espinosa on the wings, they make great runs in behind and slice you with one pass. They can they can take your whole team out of, out of the equation with a little cross finish. So we didn't let them get behind us on the wings, and, and that's really where they're dangerous. And we knew that we couldn't send our wingers super high today because you're just not going to catch those two guys. They're too fast and they have too much skill. So we really kind of limited what they – kind of their, their best attributes, I'd say and that just put us in a good position tonight. Thanks, and just quick follow up. Uh, like Ryan mentioned, third straight clean sheets uh, for the team. Uh, what is that kind of continued defensive resurgence kind of doing for the team's confidence kind of entering and you know, as we enter kind of this second half of the season so far? Yeah, I think when you, when you put up shutouts, it gives you a really good chance to win the game. There's not too many games where we don't score. So going, especially on the road, getting a shutout, we hit the post at the end, could have came out three points. But we knew our defensive performance kind of the 10 games before the, the clean sheet started. We just weren't up to par for us. We, we just defended poorly. And we really changed that. And this has to be our whole mentality going forward is really putting shutouts on the board. And then I know we're going to score. We're going to get those goals. And then it just puts us in a really good spot moving forward. Thank you, David. We'll wrap it there. Safe travels home. Thank you. you